and I'm from Gloucester, currently live in Gloucester, beautiful, gloomy UK right now. <laughs> and I'm here to take over this session and today we will be talking about our favourite family traditions. So I'll start off with Kushbu. So what's your favourite family tradition? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Ma'am, our favorite family tradition is when uh, when new baby born in our family, then mm -hmm. we when do a when we when we do a, a small party like a party kind of thing. It's a it's belong to that baby who comes in new world and joins motherhood and fatherhood. I can't hear you, Kushbu. Uh, your volume. Oh, there you go. Yes. When baby comes in our family, uh, when we got motherhood, fatherhood with new baby, then we celebrate six days of birthday of that baby who belongs to yes who belongs to our family member and our god and goddess who lives in our family so so we celebrate that birthday uh, when baby will only uh, like 6 days okay so you celebrate every day uh, every day for 6 days yes when okay. when he or she born then we just count 6 days and then we celebrate and it's called a chatti puja Okay, how do you celebrate it? Now we do puja in the evening and we we make a lots of recipes, salt, spicy and uh, sweet also. And we invite all the family members and friends and family to celebrate our sixth day of birthday. It's called the Chatti Puja. And then all come and join that, that birthday and we all celebrate with all the blessings and with all the foods and we enjoyed a lot okay and what what is puja what puja about ma'am we make a lots of recipes and mm -hmm. we offer to our god oh i oh i see to the god puja okay yes. okay and fantastic we offer, all the, we offer all the recipes to god and baby and mother then then you uh, then you maybe after that uh, join all the family members with all the blessings and uh, we uh, and we uh, do all the things like a uh, like a what uh, <laughs> balloon kind of thing balloon flower we decorate all the home uh -huh. and uh, on, on a small stage or maybe it's like a small puja we decorate all the things with balloons and colors lots of color and uh, uh, flowers okay so it's it's a it's a festive three uh six days for you it's a festive yes. festive six days yes okay fantastic it's um a tradition and it's a culture to ancestor to new generation oh that's lovely and is it is it just so it's just in your family it has been passed down from generation to generation yes okay so not not every family does this no oh wow and who started it? Where did it, the, the interesting uh, story would be to see where it started from? Really, uh, we are just learning to our ancestors and our motherhood, uh, sorry, grandmother and grandfather, and we do all the things from that only. Oh, it might be really interesting if you find out for, uh, for your family story, like where this came from and why, why they did it. Uh, that'd be a really cool story to find out. Um, okay. And so, so this this has been done, I assume, with all your children. You've done yes. it with all your children. My both children, my both kids. Oh wow. Okay. And which one has been really has there anything like happened during the the celebration that's been very memorable? Uh, I mean, both of them are equally special. I get that. But um has something maybe happened during the celebration that yes, has been memorable? Maybe. Yes, ma'am. We ready like a bride and bridegroom, like marriage. Oh. <laughs> and we wear all the things we do on marriage. So we use all the things uh, and we 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 are like red and yellow costume, like a bride and bridegroom. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that's lovely. And do you have do you, do you have a specific album, a picture album for this? Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's that's really sweet. That's a lovely tradition, Kishbru. Um, I will speak to Arush now. Hi, Arush. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Lovely top today. Very nice sweater. Ma'am, you can just see the color. The, the yellow color is like in mustard color. It's very nice. <laughs> okay, Arush, what is your favorite family tradition? Ma'am, I don't know what is family tradition. Okay, so it's it's something that so a tradition is something that is passed down from generation to generation. So it's something that you do every year or something that you do every week. Ma'am, like we in, do like we do like Durga Puja, like Durga, Dipavali and Diwali, and and Kurta Pajama is a specific suit of our every festival. But Diwali is for all of India. Is yes. that one that? Mm -hmm. Yes. But I'm asking for a family one. You have some family traditions. You might even have, like my family tradition is that we eat Sunday lunch together. Okay. And we always eat Sunday Mama, lunch together. My, my mom do fasting every week on Tuesday and Thursday. Today is my mom's fasting because today is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. she, she can drink only liquid things like water, juice and fruits she can eat. Okay, but why is that your favorite family tradition? Be because my grandmother is doing that rituals so my mom and my aunt also do that very good okay so it's something that your grandmother did so you want to you your mom does it as well and it's important for you um and it's your favorite because your grandma did it is that why i'm trying to understand why is it your favorite yes, ma'am i got like Laddu, it is like a, like it is it looks like a ball and it is in yellow color and it is really sweet and when you will eat it it will look like that you are it it is very yummy and you are eating like the world's best best sweet dish okay what is it called laddu laddu the one d u and does your mother make it after fasting? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so this is why it's your favorite family tradition that your mum fasts every Tuesday and Thursday because she gives you luck to afterwards. My mom offers for, for God and then we can eat. First God will eat, then we can eat. I see, okay. Okay, and this happens every week, after every Tuesday and after every Thursday, after fasting? Yes. Okay, very good. And can you tell me now how you make it? How do, how do we make this like do? Ma'am, we take flour, ghee, sugar, mm -hmm. cardamom, and some yellow food color. Okay. And we can we can take like small treats. Okay. And then what do you do? And then you put mix and them together. We, then we make a ball, and then we and then we can eat. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So what? Uh, when are you going to be having it? Will you be having it tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. This is my where my mom. This is like oh oh that looks delicious. That looks really good. And the color is orange, and my it and it my hand 
it it looks like this and we can do for decoration and we can put any fruits or dry fruits it looks lovely ma'am it, it's very yummy and sweet dish very lovely it looks really nice it yes. looks it, I, I want to taste it right now it's so sugary and so sweet <laughs> yes ma'am you can buy and go like on gupta brothers or like any uh, we we can also make it at home you can just search the recipe mm -hmm. i will i will have a look at little look at this because this is this is interesting for me i'm like oh more sweets <laughs> <laughs> okay, well done, Arush. It's nice to hear this was a, an interesting take about, you know, your your favorite family tradition actually happens to be something your mum does. Yeah, so you get a sweet from one, it. One good news. Uh huh. That that I know how to make quizzes. Quizzes. Yes, quiz. Oh, quizzes. Oh, okay. So you learned how to how to do a quiz now. I learned coding from my elder sisters. They they also learn coding, so they they teach me how to do coding. And so slowly, slowly, I I have made made a game, and the game name is Bamboozle. Oh, I see. Okay, so they showed you how to do it. Yes, and you can just search on Google, and you have to log in, sign in, or sign up. Okay, well done, Arush. I hope you have fun with that. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you. Thank you. Veena, I'll move on to you now. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. So can you tell me about your favorite family tradition? Like every year we plan that everyone will come together on the Holy Day. It's a Holy it's a festival which is celebrated in India. So in one year, we all, everyone, like my uncles, aunts, and their kids, and everyone, we visit our native place. We make sure that we should go there okay. and celebrate there. Okay. And, and where did it come from? Why, why do you do this? Like, uh, well, how very, has it come from generation to generation? Yeah, we are very connected to our native place. It's near Ara. Uh, it's a very small village. And when we were very small, like um, our grandmother, grandfather were used to live there, and we we loved that place so much that every year in the on the holy occasion we just visited there and had lots of fun. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so it's something that where your family has always um, been united and came together, and it's that, that's how it passed on. Yes through the generations okay and what do you do so uh, when you get there what, what do you do what is it that you do exactly how do you spend if i had to tell you, you okay it's the the day of your tradition how do you spend it like on the holy day we get up and uh, we play with colors with lots mm -hmm. of colors and water and then we eat uh, we we cook sweet this like uh, it's made up of uh, maida and it is called pua, what we call pua. Uh -huh. And there is one more dish, which is puri, that is fry roti. We fry it in the ghee or uh, in the refine. And uh -huh. we have, uh, we cook uh, vegetables and lots of non-veg also, like chicken, mutton, and everything is cooked. In India, every festival is just made for eating, what I feel. And we cook lots of food for everyone, not for our family. We cook like for 100 people. They come to our home they visit us and they also have everything and uh, then we go to we take bath and in the evening also we go to everyone's house and we play with uh, dry colors in the morning it's wet color and the evening it's dry color i see is there a reason for it for, for it to be wet in the morning and dry in the evening is there a particular reason the reason is that uh, it, it's actually in march when it is celebrated it's cold that time it's a bit, bit cold so in the evening we can't play with uh, watercolor that's why we play it in the morning and finish it okay and what's the significance of the the colors and the, the textures that you use the fact that you, uh, okay so the, the morning and the evening is more due to temperature 
but what is the significance of the colors why do you use colors like uh, when you uh, it's not the just color like people come and meet each other they uh, they just forget their uh, enemy either he is our enemy or he is someone who has hated us we just meet as a good friend with each other and the color is a symbol of love also I when you put see. color okay. you you make friends okay so so colors the colors are to back away to keep enemies away and to make to make certain fr friends so different colors have different meanings yes we mostly use uh, yellow and uh, like light pink these type of colors for friendship yes okay good okay and when was the do you do this uh, how many times a year or once once in a year in the month Just of once march. in a year in the month of, month of march in the month of march this year we could not go because of corona so we celebrated here only so how did you do it how did how did did you do it this year with the change uh, because of corona this year we celebrated with our neighbors they came to our mm -hmm. home and we celebrated that that time corona was not in the, on the pick like it was just uh, started yeah just yeah but yeah people, i remember march was just march beginning. was just beginning of the corona and we were taking it lightly and like oh this is not uh, this is just a hype <laughs> and everything is just going to be like over everyone did. <laughs> but so we played uh, with water and everything and we we fall ill also we fell sorry we fell ill like we were having oh. a sneezing problem and everything we thought we never thought that is corona we thought okay this is just a normal <laughs> thing what every year we have so now we think it, it might be ki corona was there with us but we didn't just oh dear let's hope not let's hope not <laughs> okay like my sister and was I'm... having corona uh, sister's son was having corona and he said oh, no. oh, see nothing happens it's just like the normal flu yeah well yes yes for most people it is yeah for most people it is like the the, the normal flu and but some people especially the elderly they get they get very bad with it um because obviously if they have this this system i think so the the negative point which they think okay i'm now corona positive now i'll die oh yeah yeah that no no that, that's silly that is yeah <laughs> That that is silly to think that no, um, there have been many cases of people surviving it. It's just the elderly. It's not that it, 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 they my, have been my at the, at the worst. Is eighty five years old and she was corona positive and she survived. Exactly. She no, was, that's true. She was suffering from BP. She was suffering from sugar and everything. Then also uh, she was uh, she was thinking I'll die. One thing I told her: you will not die. from corona just remember that corona is nothing just as viral flu exactly no it's true no, i believe that um but it's got it's it, it's gone crazy because of it but anyway um so how far is this place just to go back to the topic how far is this place uh, 600, from where you live 600 kilometers <gasps> oh wow so how long do you actually spend traveling to get there one day In one the whole morning. day Yeah, in the morning we start at eight o'clock, and at the night nine or ten we reach there. And then you spend the morning and the evening. And we stay there for a week. Oh, a whole week. Okay, okay. Yeah, like if we are traveling to our native place, we take for time. Yeah. Like there are many places to visit also, and uh, there is a river on the called, way. There is a river called Ganga, just uh -huh. near to my village. so we all we all go to take that place and we take bath in that river oh i see okay so it, it's more of a it, it it's a trip it's not just going there and and coming back you you make a whole trip out of it yes we all decide that we will stay for a week everyone like my uncles and buas and everyone tries to make it every year and then we celebrate it okay All right, very good. Okay, thank you very much, Veena. I will move on to you, Raj. Now. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Yuraj. So, what is your favorite family tradition? Um, uh, ma'am, actually, I I just only know about two family tradi uh, traditions, uh, which happens in my family only. So, first one is like. Uh, 
my uh well like when a kid burn in um, in my house then after 12 year 12 days uh there is a celebration of that kid after 12 days only and uh, where uh, like lots of foods are uh, made to eat mm -hmm. and okay. a second a second one is a second one is my mom uh, like do a kind of puja mm -hmm. in uh, tuesday and wednesday she do okay so Tuesday and Wednesday she does she she does it. Does she do like uh Arusha's mum? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if, so Arusha's mum does it Tuesday and Thursday. So your mum does it Tuesday and Wednesday. No, ma'am, both days. Like Tuesday and uh, Wednesday also. So uh, she she does uh, like only one day. Oh she, she wants. She does both days. No, ma'am, just only oh, one, one, one day. day. Just one day, either Tuesday yes. or Wednesday. Sorry, okay, because I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking if there's what, why do most, what, why is it that most people choose um, a Tuesday? Is there a reason for choosing Tuesday? Uh, yes, ma'am, there is a reason because, uh, as I know that uh, in uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, ma'am, uh, God. God born, I think. Born on I Tuesday. I see. So the, the god Puja oh, was born on Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So no, what? Tell me not more. Not God Puja, ma'am. Not God Puja born there. God Hanuman. Okay. No, no, you need to help me understand now. Who is Puja? Ma'am, Puja is nothing. Puja is like a celebration where we do fasting. Oh, okay, I thought I thought Puja was a god. That's why I kept asking if it's um, if there's a significance. So everyone has been just doing Puja on a Tuesday. It's been from generation to generation. Yes, ma'am. I see. Oh, I see. Okay. And now I understand. It's worship. Okay. Um, apologies. It's my my the subject i'm really sorry that's why i ask you sometimes who is what is this and who is that and what's the meaning okay and so what do you do so your mom your mom does a this fasting and, and puja on a tuesday or wednesday and then what happens like when nothing happens she uh, just do only fasting mm -hmm. and why is it your favorite family family tradition what why is it your favorite because um, I don't know any else family tradition. Oh, okay. <laughs> any, that's it. And what happens? So she does fasting. Fasting does she get? Does she make you a nice sweet as well? Lakshi, does she make you Lakshi as well? What, ma'am? Does she does she make you a, a a nice dessert, nice sweet as well, like Arush? Uh, like yes, what Arush showed me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And it happens after every the day time. Of fasting. After the day of fasting. So that's why you like it, probably. Just like Arush, you like sweets. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Yuraj. I will now move on to Abhirup. Hello. Hi, Abhirup. How are you? Hi, yeah, I'm good. What about you? I'm good, thank you. So can you tell me about your favorite family tradition? Okay, so my family family tradition is like uh, every uh, Sunday night we all gather at terrace and play a single co a singing competition. We called it Antakshari. Okay. Um, yeah. Antaksh Antakshari. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what what uh, why do you call it that? What what's the are there any different rules? What what yeah, what yeah. happens? It's a, a singing competition, but with a twist, like the uh, in this, like first person has to sing a song. Then the twist is like the second person has to sing a song uh, with the uh, with the endmost letter of the first song. Ah, oh, I see. And who do you do? So you do this with your family only, and this yeah, is like yeah. a family thing. Yeah, every Sunday we all gather and play on Takshiriya Terrace. 
Oh, lovely. Okay, and how did this come about? What was the story? How? Okay, so uh, as far as I remember, like it was uh, a tradition in my mom's family, like when like uh, my parents married, like then this tradition came to my father's family and then it has continued it. Okay, and did your mom ever tell you how it started? No, I guess uh, uh, her grandmother started this. Like, I don't know much about like how it started, but as far as I know, like she told me once, like this was initiated by her grandmother. Lovely. Okay, and what? So you do this every evening, and what is it? Um, what is it that you do apart from the singing competition? Is there is there something that you do during the the singing competition? Maybe something you drink. <laughs> or food or yeah, anything have, like that yeah we have a like lot of snacks and juice like we sing we drink we dance like people are singing and the uh, rest of them are dancing some are like drinking eating snacks or we, okay. or we like uh with like we play karaoke there like then everyone singing or someone who knows to play musical instrument he plays that oh that's lovely okay and do you plan on carrying on this tradition um, when, when you have your own kids? Yeah, definitely. This is like very interesting thing. Like we all enjoy it. So I will carry this. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Um, I think it'd be interesting as well and first of you to find out exactly how it started. Like even if it's been passed on from generation to generation and you say, okay, my grandma started it, but why and how? I, um, it, it would really be interesting for you all to, to, to figure out. It probably is a really interesting story. Um, so yeah. Maybe that's something to do during this week, might as well. Um, okay, and with regards to like the, the snacks and the drinks, are there any traditional things that your family does during the game? Like any traditional drinks that you have, specific no, ones? That's, uh, we don't have any specific drink or snack, like whatever we have in our house, we bring that. Like um, uh, most of the time it is orange juice or or like uh, the like uh, member like elder members take like their drinks, and like we kids have this like chips packets and uh, yeah. like uh, or we cook something like Maggi macaroni these kind of things. Oh, lovely! And how long does the celebration this not celebration but a karaoke this karaoke last? Oh, this like we all gather around like evening uh, five or six, then it continues till eight eight p.m. in so it carries on for hours. Yeah, like we have like uh, almost like eight to nine members here, so it takes. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> well, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you have fun this evening because um, I, I think yeah, you yeah. might be late for it now. <laughs> like it's uh, like it's always very stress bursting thing like we do. Oh, fantastic! Well, that's a lovely tradition to have. Well, thank you all very much uh, for sharing your thank family you. traditions with me, and I hope that you, you know, continue continue them on. Yeah. Um, and actually, and and we'll also find out where where it came from and why. But, I will ask, like I will ask this to my mother, like how this was started, like. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you guys very much, and I will see you all tomorrow. It was lovely. Thank you.